Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see how to delete the file on SharePoint location using UiPath. Let's move on to the UiPath Studio. To work with the SharePoint related activity or let's say uh, uh, deal with the SharePoint related uh, integration or let's say download the file, upload the file, delete the file. For that purpose, we have to download the package from Manage Package and the package is uipad.microsoft-office-365.activity. Once you download the package from Manage Package, then an activity you can you will able to see in under integration under Microsoft Office 365 under file. So here we are dealing with the uh, file related stuff from the SharePoint side on the SharePoint side. Yeah, so these are the activities present once you download this package. Now in today's video, we will dealing with the delete files and folders. Okay, so we will use delete files and folder to delete the file on SharePoint side. Now let's uh, let me show you the SharePoint site location. Okay, so this is the SharePoint site, and we are going to delete the files from Dave under subfolder two and documents dot doc so this is one of the file that we will be going to download for this video demonstration purpose yeah let me move on to the uipad studio yeah let me let me explain this workflow okay so first of all we will we have used microsoft office 365 scope activity and here we are passing the application secret key then application id then again tenant id authentication type is application id and secret and services that we have we are using files and shared so these are few properties that we have passed here now from where we are getting the application key application id and tenant id so we we are getting that details from the azure app registration let me show you so this is my azure portal let me go to the active directory azure active directory under that there is a app registration and under that app registration that we have created the one of the app registration called ui path and here we are getting that client id which is application id and tenant id and the secret key would be available under the client detection okay so in my previous video i have basically explained how to create this app id in azure and how to integrate with the sharepoint site you can go and watch that video watch that video now let's move on to the uipath studio so here basically uh, we have created an argument and in that argument we have passed all these details one is tenant id application id and a secret key here you can able to see now my another activity is find files and folders so here basically we are finding the files and folders okay so basically which files that we want to delete or which file which folders that we want to delete so for that we what we have done we have passed the some details to the subfolder uh, property and we have passed the drive name we have passed the site url and we have created one variable called v results which is a array of drive atom okay so the subfolder so path here we have created one argument called complete folder path from the directory which is something the dev folder 2 this is the dev and folder 2 so this is the path that and in this path this file is present so we are going to download this file so the file name that we have passed again here we have created one more argument called in target file folders name and in that particular argument we have passed the document.docx which is the document.docx this is the file name now uh, the drive name drive name that we have passed it here it's called a, a document because this is our drive name and under these documents uh, uh document drive we have all these folders and files present so hence we have passed the drive name called documents and the one more let parameter that is something site url which is something the here that we have passed let me show you this particular site url so let me go to this 
and so until this path that we have passed as an site URL. So before anything, before share drive, which is present in this site URL, so that is called as an site URL and that particular details that we have passed into this site URL. Here you can see that we have passed in the site URL. So, so now once we receive the details from the drive atom which is in the form of array then what to iterate that particular drive atom we have used for each loop. Now to, to, to basically work that for each loop for that particular drive atom what we have done we have changed the type of argument here called microsoft dot graph dot drive item so this is something a key step or let's say a very important point here to iterate drive item we have to select the type of argument called microsoft dot graph dot drive item then you can able to iterate that drive item okay and here the value that we have passed which is something the output of this previous activity called v result so this is the detail that we have passed here passes passed it here and we have select the appropriate type argument here now my another activity is use i have used that if so basically why we have used if so we basically making sure or let's say uh, putting the condition whatever the file name that we have passed the that the correct file that we are going to delete it okay so in that case what exactly i have done so item dot name dot to string uh, equals to in underscore target file name and folder so here in underscore target file name file file, file folder name is document dot yourself so basically here basically condition gets checked whether the file name that we are passing and whether the file name that is available under the item which is correct or which is the same then only we will going to delete okay and if that condition does not match then it won't, it won't perform any action okay so now this is the if condition that we have put it here and under uh, under that we have put the delete files and folder our actual activity okay so which will be going to perform the delete action so here basically there is only one input parameter and that is something called files or folder to delete and that is again the drive atom so drive atom which means the item whatever drive item which is available array of drive item which is available in the v result so that is iterating one by one and that is again the holding into the item and that item that we have passed it here as a drive item to delete the respective files and folders yeah. so this is the workflow very simple and short i would say now let's move on to the sharepoint site and this is the particular tapes of folder 2 document.docx let me check the complete folder file path devs of folder 2 and document.docx yeah and let me uh, run this workflow Okay, my bad. Yeah. So this is the one and let me run this file. Yeah. So I can see the execution has been completed. Let's see on to the SharePoint site. Uh, and let me refresh this yes so you can see the document.docx that file was earlier present into the tables of folder 2 and that has been deleted yeah so this is the way basically that we can delete the uh, files from the uh, on the sharepoint location using ui path this is one of the scenario now what we can do Let's consider a scenario that we have to delete the file from this location, which is the file name is something book.xls. Let me just change the file name here in the argument called book.xls. Okay. So book.xls is that has been changed. And now what I can do here, I will remove this path from here because uh, our file is present on the root directory 
or let's say under drive 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 uh, item uh, call document so what exactly in this case is happening here we will passing nothing and so in that case basically it will iterate uh, it will basically extract the details which is from this particular uh, drive atom called document and then it will iterate all the files and folders from this location okay i have changed the file name from book.xls book.xls which is okay let me run this okay it, execution has been completed and this is the book.xls let me refresh this yes and you can see the book.xls xls file has been deleted yes so in this way basically you can delete your files from different location or different folders from sharepoint our last scenario would be what we can do uh, now so far we have deleted the files let me delete it the folders now there is a folder called prod and we are going to delete that this particular folder so i have passed the folder name here the prod and my workflow remains same let me save this and let me run this yeah so you can see execution is completed and let me go to this sharepoint site and ours in this scenario the folder prod should be deleted let me refresh yes and you can see the prod folder that folder has been deleted so in this way basically you can delete the files onto the sharepoint uh, on on sharepoint uh, location or let's say different folders uh, so this is the workflow that that we have created to delete the files and delete files for activity that we have used to delete the files on the SharePoint site or a SharePoint location. Yeah, so that's it in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any question, please comment. Please subscribe. Thanks.